Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling mum of three in the UK and I kind of thought with the massive influx of subscribers we've had over the last couple of months that it would be really good to do a get to know me video because I don't think I've ever done one and I kind of figured like loads of you are here now and none of you really know who I am so I found a blog post that had like 300 questions on. I picked my 50 favourite ones and thought let's just sit here and chat for like 15-20 minutes and we can get through as many of them as we can. So let's go. So the first question is what is your full name? So my full name is Emma Lavender Beal. Um, it's not my birth name, I changed my middle name um, a couple of years ago uh, because the middle name I had had negative connotations for me so I changed it to Lavender. Number two, where are you from? So it's no secret that I say that I live in the New Forest in Hampshire and I'm actually from here. I live in the same town that I was born in. Uh, which of your parents are you most like? Uh, so my parentage is complicated. Um, my The person who I refer to as my mum is actually my stepmom. Um, uh, my dad, I'm probably most like my dad. Um, obviously he's my only biological parent that I can kind of compare that to. Um, number three is what is your biggest accomplishment? Um, I would probably say it's one of two things and one of them is the home educating of my children because when we first started and I think even now people have said like are you sure you're able to do that or how do you manage doing this or how do you manage doing that or well if you sent them to school you could do blah 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 and I think that carrying on choosing the less trodden path um, because I know and my husband knows that it's the right choice for them um, that's one of my biggest accomplishments and my other one is probably this channel um, because it's exploded in the last few months um, you guys are amazing you keep coming back to watch I think our viewers versus subscribers is like there's a huge difference but both of those numbers are hugely humbling that there are 350 people who like my content enough to go boop and subscribe and then there's you know there's been 4,000 views in the last month like that is immense and I'm just so grateful and feel really blessed and all of those other cheesy words I could use to describe the feeling but yeah that I think my channel is up there they're like equal uh, number four is what are you scared of um I'm claustrophobic so I'm scared of small spaces especially small spaces with lots of people so like being in a lift by myself is okay being in a lift with my kids is okay with my kids and my husband is okay being in a lift that's like jam-packed or and or full of people I don't know that's terrifying and I will get a panic I'll have a panic attack I have been scared of snakes but not hugely anymore like I would hold one now I'd be a bit like I'm done hand it back um I think that's it like the rest of it is just the kind of usual stuff like oh I'm scared of the dentist I'm really scared of the dentist I had some I've had some really bad dental experiences over the years and they have lots of negative connotations for me outside of actually being the dentist so yeah dentist and claustrophobic uh, number five is what is your biggest regret? I don't really think I have regrets. I think that everything that happens to you shapes who you are now and I'm quite happy with who I am now so I don't really regret anything. Um, I think occasionally I regret how I handled situations but then I try and make them better so and sometimes even when you regret something it's not like later down the road you're like actually that was a really good decision or that was a really good thing in the end that happened to me or if that hadn't happened that bad thing hadn't happened then this good thing wouldn't have happened and 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 i yeah i don't really have regrets at all no regrets no regrets <laughs> uh number six what or who inspires you my children i know that sounds really really cheesy but my children inspire me all the time um yeah just my children my children a lot they inspire me all the time I could go on into millions of reasons why but you know they there's been lots of things that I've just been like wow I'm in awe of you I love you you're so amazing um kind of moments with them and 
I think that's the same with a lot of people who are parenting kids with additional needs. Um, yeah, they just, they're amazing. They really inspire me. Uh, the other person who inspires me loads is my sister. Um, I've linked her channel up here. Do -do -do. Um, I, she has some really quite hefty medical issues, uh, mainly fibromyalgia and you know, I can be on video call with her and she's having a really, really bad day. Uh, yesterday she was in a lot of pain. I think she described it as being like her body felt like concrete that had been hit by a freight train. Um, and she answers the, always answers the phone to me doing something silly. Like she'll start with like, like, you know, like this with her eye right up really close or going Bleh, or tell me a joke or make a stupid noise or anything like that like she is in a lot of pain and she's really struggling to keep her mental health level whilst feeling all that pain and she still takes the time to make me laugh because she knows that I'm probably ringing her because I'm having a stressful day and that to be that selfless yeah it's inspiring but then there's other people who inspire me like other youtubers um Angela Braniff at This Gathered Nest. Um, absolutely love her content. I think she's fabulous. She's the kind of person you're like, if we were friends in real life, we would be besties. Um, <laughs> and I think, yeah, just looking at her family, her morals, her ethics, her business, and then like they've recently moved to a farm um, and their children are just being able to run around their land free. They're getting animals that their children are going to look after and, and all of this lovely stuff. And I think to myself, that's what I want for my children. It's one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel was because I wanted to document our journey to that point. Um, because I will get there. I will get there. Um, and watching Angela's progression through um, and her building a creative career for herself like that's that's my end goal here and um not my end goal my ongoing goal I'm that's what I'm focusing on is is being able to create a life that I love and a life where I don't worry about it as much that makes sense um so number seven what has required the most courage in your life so far um anyone who's given birth will know that labor takes a lot of damn courage um <laughs> um yeah labor that's one thing but also i had a pretty traumatic childhood and i think when you have su survived trauma um coming out the other side doing continue doing the continual work to make sure that you are not your everyday life isn't affected by that trauma and that you don't make you know that you aren't a repetition of what's happened to you um and what's happened down the chain i think that that is takes a lot of courage um because you really have to address some icky things inside your brain and yeah i'm still i'm still everything's all ongoing i think with a journey from away from trauma or through trauma and I think that's taken the most courage apart from you know also having babies but um yeah there you go number eight is who is your favorite actor slash actress um I have a few I've written them down on a post-it note because otherwise I'll be like I forget so I really love Zoe Deschanel I think she's hilarious I see a lot of especially new girl like and actually anything she's in like I see a lot of myself and her and I really like it when a character when an actress is relatable um yeah so just now um Sarah Gordy I absolutely love Sarah Gordy I think she's amazing whenever I see anything that she's in I'm like I've got to watch it I've got to watch it um I think all of the people on my list are people that if I see that I'm not really a film or tv show kind of person like there's certain things that I love and will always watch um but there's other things if if they were in it then i would be like i'll have i'll check it out i'll check it out so sarah gordy is one of those people if she's in something then i'm like i want to watch her because i just love her acting um chadwick boseman who doesn't love chadwick boseman bless his heart may he rest in peace um Sinequa martin green anything she's in i'm all over that um you know like um star trek that she's in at the moment as michael burnham i'm like yeah and then i was watching you girl and she popped up in that and i was like ah! it's like oh my god so many of my favorite people in one thing 
here's something else. I get interrupted when I'm filming like every five minutes by my youngest child when my husband should be parenting him. But he's watching Mamma Mia. And... <laughs> anyway. So back to my favorite actors and actresses. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Damon Wines Jr. If I find anything with him and I'm like, boop. Because he's just a really good actor. Um, and then, oh uh, and then Matt Smith, Claire Foy, love the crown, kind of love everything with them in it too. Matt Smith's my doctor, as in Doctor Who, not my GP. Uh, number nine, my favourite colour, um, pink slash orange, coral is probably a more accurate um, description of it, but yeah, pinky orange, or pink and orange. What's your favourite cultural holiday slash activity? Oh, so I... Probably Samhain. So that is essentially the pagan version of Halloween. Uh, it's where we celebrate the end of summer, the last harvest. It's like our new year. It's the biggest festival in the Wheel of the Year. Um, and yeah. It's all about celebrating your ancestors and how amazing they are and how they've made you who you are today and without them you wouldn't be alive you know all of this lovely stuff about how amazing um the wheel of the the you know the cycle of life is and yeah sewing sewing's really cool sewing's probably my favorite i also do really like yule slash christmas um not really christmas as such but you'll like that kind of um thing i really i really like all of the activities and traditions that we have from each of our families that we've kind of blended together and yeah yeah my other favorite one is Letha which is the summer solstice because I just love that time of year June's probably my favorite month um everything just always seems to be nice around around Letha and it's and it's all of my favorite flavors like lavender and lemon cake and having barbecues and and just going out for walks and lying in flower meadows and and yeah I think I could go on I like all of them I like all of the I like all of the pagan holidays I don't dislike any of them um so the next one is what's your favorite food and drink I love a roast dinner like a roast chicken roast lamb roast potatoes dairy-free Yorkshire puddings honeyed parsnips Brussels sprouts cranberry sauce or mint sauce like you know the whole works I like them I really like them I also like a good British fry up <laughs> good proper one except I don't like black pudding so I'd leave it out but you know hash browns bacon sausage beans scrambled egg toast maybe fried bread yeah my favorite drink uh I do love coffee I really love coffee I do have to have decaf now though my f if I had to pick a drink that I'd have right now it would be like oh, that's my favorite drink I'm gonna drink that I would either be a pina colada, virgin or not. Um, <laughs> right now, probably if the time of day is probably a virgin, but not right now. Um, not maybe later on. Uh, or a pumpkin spice latte or a caramel latte. Uh, what's your favourite season? Ooh, ooh, that's so hard. Um, I can't answer that question because uh, I love all of the seasons. I'm gonna to say to you autumn and then I'm like because I love the change in colour and I love that it's not too hot but it's still warm and you don't have to wear a jumper you just have to wear a light cardigan but then I also love winter because I love the sound of crunchy frost and I love snow and I love big chunky sweaters and knitted headbands and wearing my boots and taking hot chocolates out in flasks when we go for walks and I love spring because I love fresh rain and I love how everything just bursts from like death into life again and seeing loads of baby animals and seeing the, all the different shades of green and I love summer because of the long nights and all of the flowers and the heart the bountifulness of summer so I can't answer that question I'm gonna have to probably say autumn because it's got Mabon my birthday and Samhainen autumn there we go that's what I'm gonna pick but it's not my favorite because I love all of them uh favorite animal um horses clearly um <laughs> like you should know that um I also love dogs again clearly I love cats rabbits alpacas I'm a little alpaca crazy like I just love alpaca things um I also love pigs chickens cows like farm animals in general I don't like goats 
I don't like goats though. Um, I can't stand the smell of them and one of them headbutted Bessie when she was about three, so no goats. Um, orangutans, that's the other one that's not like a farm animal type thing, a domesticated animal. Orangutan's my favourite wild animal. Uh, the next one is, do you have a tattoo? Yes. I do have a tattoo. I have a heart on my shoulder and then in my grand, my late granddad's handwriting I have granddad brackets bry because that's how he used to sign cards and it was a bit of a family joke that he would always write his name when we knew who it was. Um, so yeah, I have a heart. And my cousin is a tattooist um, and he did it for me. Uh, do you have any allergies? Yes, loads. Um, I get really bad hay fever, like rhinitis symptoms and I... I'm allergic to hay and straw, most pollens, um, I'm allergic to loads of different, my, my skin's really sensitive so I have loads, like loads of different um, cosmetics and toiletries and laundry detergents and stuff like that. Um, I also get migraines um, with artificial scents, like really, like really artificial scents. Um, and I'm allergic to aspirin as well because it, it sets my asthma off, which I also have. So. Do you have any pets? Yes. Yes, I do. You've seen my dogs and cats in my videos because they have no understanding of personal space. Um, so I have a dog called Lily and I have two cats called Jazzy and Maddie. And then we have, um, obviously, Lola, Pip, Mary and Tria, who are the horses who um, are under our care as well. And... Oh, and four guinea pigs. I forgot about them. Um, then we have four guinea pigs who are called Jake... Percy, Killian and Arlo. Try to remember all the names. Uh, so the next question is do you have a best friend? Um yes, I probably have quite a few. Um yeah. People that are really in my inner circle are my best friends. Obviously, gonna be really cliche and cheesy. My husband. But he was my he was a really good friend like a really, really good friend like my entire life before he was my husband. So um yeah, yeah. I've probably got like four or five people that I would deem are my best friends because I would confide anything to them. Hang on. Yeah, probably about five. Five really best friends. Um, some of them are. Some of the. I think they all kind of know each other. Maybe. Um, but, or they know of each other, but two of them are quite connected, whereas the others, not so much. So, there you go. Um, and my sister. My sister. So six, because my sister is my best friend too. And my nan. Seven. So my, my, and my dad. Oh my god, that's eight. Okay. But like, family doesn't count, right? Like, my nan, my dad, and my sister don't count because they're family as well, but they're, they're also my best friends. But five people who aren't related to me. Uh, so the next one, who was the last person to text you? I don't know, let me look. Uh, last person to text me was... was Phil, my husband, to say well done. Because I, told, I texted him and told him that I had hit 350 subscribers. Um, but before that was my dad telling me that his pumpkin he's growing hadn't got any bigger uh next who what's sorry what's at the top of your bucket list Ooh. um i don't know probably something to do with the horses i would really like to jump lola my riding pony and I also want to back Pip um, so the children can ride her properly. Be nice if Marigold had a foal. Be nice if Tria was completely gentled. So yeah, horse horse stuff. Um, getting everyone in shape to do jumping and and and, and backed and, gen and gentled and stuff. So there you go. Um, next one. How many boyfriends, girlfriends have you had? Real legit two one of whom I'm married to, one kind of three-ish, probably can't count in, but yeah, I've, I've never had a girlfriend because I'm straight, um, uh, but yeah, two boyfriends really, one was my senior school boyfriend, we went away to university together and 
reasonably quickly discovered that it wasn't right and it hadn't been right for a while and we both wanted different things um and i believe from because i'm still in touch with his family i believe that he's got all of those things he wanted so good for him and i've got all the things i wanted but just we couldn't have them together um it was sad at the time but yeah it was good it's all good um and then my second boyfriend like proper boyfriend was phil and we started dating and we were married 11 months later so there you go two really um what time do you get up in the morning well i wake up at like 5 a.m because albert is my little alarm clock and comes in and wakes me up um but before lockdown i would probably get up around six but more likely is more like 7 7 30 now uh, sometimes when Phil goes to work for 7.30, the kids, or 8, like the kids all pile in on the bed and we sit and watch tablets and then we don't get up till like 8, 9 o'clock at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, so anywhere between 7 and 8, I would say I probably get up, but I'm awake for quite a while before that. Uh, what time do you go to bed? I'm supposed to go to bed at like 10 and then be asleep by 11, but lately I've not done that. And I've been like still downstairs at midnight and then i feel like a zombie the next day so yeah i've got to get back out of the house um what religion do you raise your children in uh whatever religion they want to be raised in um i don't believe that a religion should be forced on anyone no child nothing whether you think it's right whether you think your religion is right or not i don't think you should um phil and i were both raised i well phil was raised as a christian i came to it as a child and um but we don't really follow that now we certainly don't teach it to our children um if they are interested in it then they are we are perfectly happy for them to learn christianity from others like phil's family and my mum are all very christian um and it's perfectly fine for them to go to church with them if they want to and stuff like that i'm not sh i think my children like church and like the stories but from talking to them they believe that they are stories they don't believe that it's true they believe that it's stories um and i think that probably comes from we probably would we would be classed as raising them as pagan um following the wheel of the year but um we <laughs> i don't tell them that it's true like i just say a lot of paganism is about stories and i think that that's what they then believe religion is as a whole like it's just a story to describe things they're probably i i imagine they will be culturally pagan which is what we would class ourselves as um culturally pagan but i imagine i imagine my children probably grow up to be agnostic to be fair um because they just believe their stories so um but yeah we as as i've talked about a lot we do follow the wheel of the year so would be classed as pagan maybe and I do say we're pagan sometimes, but mm, pagan-ish. <laughs> um, the next one is, if you had another baby, what would you name them? Uh, hmm, I don't know, because we would like to have another baby, but it won't be a biological baby. We'd like to adopt in the next few years when Albert's a bit older, um, when Albert's more like Charles or Bessie's age um and we wouldn't name them because in the, we would adopt from from the care system in the uk and they would already be named and we would keep their name um but yeah um if we had another biological baby which is not physically possible anymore um because i suffered from hyperemesis gravidarum in all of my pregnancies and phil has now had a vasectomy so um basically to save my life <laughs> But if we had another baby, if it was a girl, it would probably be called, she would probably, it, it, she would probably be called, um, probably Mary, or what was the other name that we liked? There was another name that we liked. I can't remember what it was, but probably Mary, because it goes with Charles, Elizabeth, Albert and Mary. Um, and if it was a boy... Francis. I really like rain if you uh if you've seen that. Um as well. 
Um, how often do you skip breakfast? All the time because I fast. So I fast from like eight in the evening, probably till like 10, 11 in the morning. And then I have a light snack and then I have lunch. So all the time, pretty much every day. Occasionally I'll have breakfast, probably like two, th two three times a week or I'll have breakfast just before lunch. And then I'll have like sn another, like a couple of snacks throughout the afternoon as my lunch. Um, but yeah, so pretty much five days a week. Um, one thing you know now that you wish you had known when you were a kid. Everything's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be like this forever. You are stronger than you know and you will come out the other side and you'll be an amazing person who is loved and can love. Um, which is way more than the person who's doing this to you has and will have and that cute little blonde boy that goes to church with you you're going to marry him and you're going to have his babies and you're going to be madly in love with him and he is going to be utterly devoted to you and you're gonna have the best time together and you're going to love each other more deeply than you ever thought you could love anyone ever in the world and on that disgustingly mushy note <laughs> That was my get to know me quiz. Uh, there was a few, I think there was a few questions missing, but we're kind of getting to the end of this anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel like you know me a bit better now. If there's any um, other get to know me questions you would like to do the next time, please leave them in the comments. And next time I do a and A, I I will add them in. As personal as you like, no secrets here. <laughs> uh, I will chat to you next week and I can't wait to see you again. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.